if I could, if I could go back in time and tell myself to just leave it alone, I would have, but, um, that was the thing. Like I didn't have another system to sort of swap in and get cut in and everything. Um, so that's, I would, I would suggest that like always think about having a backup one or backup new one just in case. <laughs> Hey everyone, my name is Hector, um, and today I want to talk a little bit about when you should transition to a new system. So in my case, I had this one here, this old HD111 for about three months. Um, you can kind of tell it's a little bit used, you know, like it doesn't look as, as nice. And it's definitely like the hair is a lot more sort of tangled. Like right now, I guess I'm not right there. Um, but yeah, like, so I'll give you a little sneak peek of this. So this is sort of like what the head looks like right now. So you can kind of see like that middle part where I usually part my hair. You see a lot more poly than the normal person would want. Um, so, yeah, so this system is about three months old. You definitely don't want to go past three months. I think my new sort of metric is um, two months. And I only say that because I wanted to figure out what would be the sort of max amount of time I could use a system like this. Um, so that's all coming from the fact that I am pretty much an experimenter and I want to see like what would be the absolute worst case scenario. Um, for something like that, I think uh, three, I was able to get three months out of it, but I think by the two and a half month mark, it was looking pretty rough. Um, I was, there was one, there was one day where I was actually trying to reapply it onto my head and I'd gotten a pretty bad knot here, like on the side of it, right where I part my hair. And I was just trying to like get at it with a comb and the poly had been so sort of used and old that hair was coming out really easily. Um, so as I was getting rid of the knot, I was also ripping hair out of the system and I, I, it was, it was really, really rough. I, I wouldn't, if I could, if I could go back in time and tell myself to just leave it alone, I would have, but, um, that was the thing. Like I didn't have another system to sort of swap in and get cut in and everything. Um, so that's, I would, I would suggest that like always think about having a backup one or backup new one just in case. Um, but first of all, like don't even let your system go, especially if you have an HE 111, like don't let your system go past, um, at most two months but yeah like that's that's the thing at least here in in new england it gets it's getting colder it's cold now um with the cold weather there's also less moisture in the air with the less moisture in the air that means that your hair has to rely heavily more on you um so you have to be the one to put in a moisturizer and sort of keep it hydrated because the natural air won't be there to support you like it would be in the summer let's say when it's hot and humid but yeah i think uh with the winter coming in, um, it makes it rough to avoid your hair getting tangled and getting dry. But yeah, like I think it's, um, the realism of it comes from that, you know, like you definitely want to sort of be, um, you know how people like get their haircuts, their haircut like every two weeks, you kind of want to do the same thing with your system where it's like you're, you're monitoring it, um, not frequently, but you're monitoring at least to kind of be ready. So you're ready to go for the transition. Um, so in my case, that'll be happening. So I've installed mine this past week. So I think I'll be, for March, I'll have a new system on my head. I'm not gonna push it to, to April um, because that, all of, the same thing will probably end up happening again. But yeah, like, I mean, I use my system very, very much. I, I, I mean, I have it on my head every day. I work out, I go to the gym, I snowboard, I, I bike to work. So it's like, it's with all that use, you need to also take care of it very, very well. Um, but yeah, I think, uh, installing this new one was not as bad as doing it the first time I ever did. So this is the second HD one on one I've cut and put on my head. Um, the first one, um, and it's actually a video on Super Hair Pieces, uh, YouTube channel. That was the first time I've ever done it. And I was, I was, I was a bit nervous. I was very nervous. Um, the second time around you definitely get, uh, you have that confidence and it's not that bad. Um, so I'd say if you're scared of doing it the first time, don't be. <laughs> because you're gonna have to do it a second time anyways and then after that you'll, you'll see that you have, you have gained that confidence back um but yeah like i would say that cutting it as close to your sort of hair your as close to your shaped part as possible is really really good um like you definitely want to do that i think in my experience what, I, what i've been what i what i did for this past system um was i measured my head and then i cut the uh the poly about half a centimeter less so in this case, like from my front to my back, it was 22 and a half. So I cut it to 22. Um, and I think that when you do put the poly on your head, you sort of get like an added half a centimeter. Um, 
when you stretch it and you kind of push it back to kind of get onto your head. So I think that's something that I didn't account for in the past, but I did it this time. And when I pulled it back and everything, I, I couldn't feel like where, where it started, where like the system started and like where my header ended. So that was pretty good. And then when I went to my barber, he kind of said the same thing. He was like, hey, like I, he's like, I can't tell where, where your system starts. And I was like, okay, well that's, that's good. You know, like I, that shows that I did my job very, very well. Um, and that gave him confidence because now it's like, okay, it's like, like you're cutting normal hair, you know, you can't, if you can't really tell where one starts and one ends, that means that at least for the barber, it kind of gives them a little bit more uh, confidence in their own ability. And just like, um, they can kind of do, they can think, I think a little bit less about like what about, about your system, your hair as a system and more just like as regular hair. But yeah, I think, uh, I would say that the HG11 system has definitely been at least for me, will be the one that I will use for a very, very, very long time. Um, and that's why I want to sort of figure out what are its limits, you know, like how, how far can you push it? Um, because at least for me, it's like, that's sort of my mentality. That's how I work. That's how I operate where like, I want to kind of know worst case scenario what's going on. Um, and in this case, I know that I definitely want to replace my system every two months. Uh, definitely not three. And that's all way over um, the one month, I think, recommendation that um, Super Hair Pieces states on their website. So again, like, Full discretion, you know, like I take their medicine very well and I can get two months out of it. Um, that's not, to, that might not apply to everyone, but yeah, like it is possible if you do, if you are interested in that. But yeah, the HG11 system is, is a game changer. Really thin, really thin poly, like as I mentioned, I saw before, like I, you can barely tell. I think it's very tough to see the, so the hairline and where that is. Um, but yeah, I think, uh, I think I've shared enough. Um, I would definitely recommend the HD 101 to anyone, but be, remember to take care of it very, very well. And yeah, thanks. Thank you, Super Super Hair Pieces. Thanks for um, sort of helping me and figuring out what I what I wanted, what I what I needed. Um, they've been very, very helpful. So I would say if you guys have any questions or anything like that, definitely reach out to them. They can definitely get you uh, squared away and helped out. Um, their product line is also amazing on what they have and they even have like overnight shipping on some things too. I think I was able to get those on overnight, which is ridiculous. Um, I wouldn't, I was not expecting that I could get that literally the next day. Um, but yeah, I think the HTML one is great. I, I love it to be honest. Uh, I would say if you're looking to get a hair system and you want an all poly base, I would definitely go the HTML one system and just cut it very, very well. Be patient with it. Um, now we live in a time where we don't have to look the way we don't want to. So uh, yeah, power to you. Thanks.